Hello, this is Top Stories on Viewer Television. I am Chinon Sopa. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has assured Nigerians that the present challenges, especially with the struggling economy and simmering insecurity, are not insurmountable. Tinubu, who stated this in his Salah message, message, underscored the need for all Nigerians to face the future with vigor, renewed hope, and confidence that tomorrow shall be better and brighter. The president stressed that the need to multiply good deeds with kindness to fellow Muslims and others by helping and supporting the weak and vulnerable in our communities. He also underscored the need for Muslims to imbibe and manifest core values, complete devotion to Allah, tolerance, patience, perseverance, selflessness, love, and compassion inherent in Prophet Ibrahim's life. And oil marketers have projected that the pump price of petrol could rise above 700 naira per litre in northern Nigeria starting from July. The National Controller Operations Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Mike Osatui, said that prices could rise to above 700 naira in the north once independent marketers start importing petrols from July. He said while those living in the northern states could pay as much as 700 and above for one litre of petrol, those outside Lagos could expect to pay around 610 naira, as residents in Lagos will pay about 600 per litre. And former Nigerian boxer Jeribaya Jerry Okorodudu died at a private hospital in Lawandon, Lagos, on Wednesday night after battling with a foot ulcer that left him bedridden for weeks. Okorodudu's wife, Adenike, who confirmed the news of his death, however, said the hospital was not willing to release her husband's corpse until the outstanding 600,000 Naira medical bill is paid. The Olympian was feeling better following several transfers from different hospitals, mainly due to lack of funds, before he was brought to the Lawson Hospital. Secretary General Nigeria Boxing Board of Control and President, West Africa Boxing Union, Remy Obodering, also confirmed that the Olympian had passed away. Now a block in the People's Democratic Party concerned PDP League says it is opposed to any attempt to the party to present Senator Aminu Tambowal as Senate Minority Leader. The chairman of CPDPL, Mr. Dabai Kiabo Wamert, said in a statement on Wednesday that the group was not in support of Tambowal based on his actions as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Wamad said that instead of Tambowal, the position should rather be zoned to a state in the north central, precisely Plateau State. Wamad stated that Tambowal had, during his leadership as Speaker of the Eighth House of Representatives, given to him by the PDP, defected to the All Progressives Congress. And now the federal government spent 1.24 trillion naira servicing debt in the first quarter of the year, according to the Debt Management Office report. The figures show that between January and March, Nigeria spent 874.13 billion naira servicing domestic debt and 801.36 million dollars servicing external debt, bringing the total amount spent on debt servicing in the period to 1.24 trillion naira. In the last quarter of 2022, Nigeria spent 406.7 billion naira on domestic debt servicing obligations and $302.27 million on external debt servicing, bringing the total to 550.51 billion naira. From the DMO figures, it shows that the federal government's debt obligations grew by 55.71% between the last quarter of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023. And the Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, has promoted 7,000 men across various ranks and departments, as approved by its board. This was just as the Edo State Command of Nigerian Correctional Services has decorated 307 officers promoted by the Controller General of the Services, 
Hila, Hilaru Nababa in Benin City, Edo State. A statement by the Acting Public Relations Officer Kenneth Curry noted that the promotion was contained in a letter by the Secretary of the Immigration, Civil Defense, Correctional and Fire Service Board, Al Haji Jafaru Ahmed. The Acting Comptroller General, Wuraulu Adekbojo, also approved the appointment of the Earthsville Service Spokesman, Tony Akuneme, as FCT Command Comptroller. And the All Progressives Congress has denied reports that President Bola Tinubu's visit to London after the Paris summit on Saturday was for medical treatment. APC Director of Publicity Bala Ibrahim in a statement dismissed the claims. He wondered why people always speculated that the President had traveled for a medical checkup whenever he was in London. The development comes in the wake of the President's return to the country on Tuesday ahead of the Idul Kabir Festival. Tinubu was initially scheduled to return to Abuja, proceeding to London for a short private visit, according to a statement signed by his special advisor on special duties, communication and strategy, Dele Alake. And the Speaker of the Oshun State House of Assembly, Adewola Ad. Adedu has described the attack on Governor Ademola Adeleke at the Oshobo Eid Prayer Ground as barbaric and despicable. Egbedu, while condemning the attack on Adeleke by suspected political talks, also called on security agencies to go after the perpetrators behind the distorted act. The speaker who ascribed the governor's escape to the grace of God and the gallantry of his security details warned that launching a violent attack against a state governor was a crime with a heavy punishment. And that's all on Top Stories. Many thanks for watching. I am Chinon Sopan. Please do stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.